I'm not gonna marry you. Yes, I love her, um, but I've had fears about her temper um, since I've met her. No, my wife just left her a corporate job for a cashier job. She's like, she wants to get out of the payments. What's she doing? Payments of what? Child support, ma'am. I work at a convenience store. How much are you making now? 30000 a year. What's the qualification to work at that job? You just need a high school diploma. High school diploma. And you have a master's degree. I'm not about to play with you. I don't for that reason. Is. Well, man, it's, it's, it's that or nothing. Like, I guess I'll just have to keep this ring for another rainy day. No. Um, hope, I'm, I'm sure someone else would love something like this, you know? Yo, what is going on, guys? I hope you are all doing well. So on today's episode, we are going to be talking about marriage, more specifically prenups, okay? And the reasons why men do not want to get married and we're going to be kicking it off with a clip from this woman right here now i don't know if this is satire or not but we have this incredibly entitled woman basically screaming saying that she won't sign a prenup because obviously guys when a modern woman gets married she is entitled to half your crap if not all of it when she divorces you obviously so let's jump into today's episode as always don't forget to leave your thoughts and your comments and we also have a bunch of clips lined up here today not just this one so let's take a listen <laughs> if there is a prenup i'm not gonna marry you well then <laughs> goodbye she's screaming and yelling and can't have a normal conversation and there's i can't talk to her and that's a problem yes i love her um but i've had fears about her temper um since i've met her but well actually more yeah since i met her in person oh. are you talking about me pack up your things get out of here get out of here jimmy See, this is the problem, right? Is we have men out here who will actually put up with this crap, right? This is a woman who's crying. She's telling you to get out. She's refusing to sign the prenup. This is the part where you simply say, okay, you walk away and you never talk to her again in her life. And she can be some other dude's problem, okay? Because she's obviously only with the dude for the money. And this is the part about marriage that a lot of men don't like. I know I certainly don't like it, is that you have these women who get marriages and they feel entitled to the man's resources when the marriage ends. And also, by the way, guys, just FYI, prenups don't do a whole lot, okay? Prenups can be voided quite easily, and they often are. So men are screwed regardless. But I have no idea why dudes are putting up with situations like these. I've had fears about her temper um, since I've met her. But, well, actually more, yeah, since I met her in person. Oh. Are you talking about me? Pack up your things. Get out of here. Get out of here, Jimmy. You know, if you truly love me, you would listen to my proposal. You didn't even give me... Okay, what is a proposal? Yeah, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Okay, so this guy is still, I don't know, he's still wanting it to work with this woman. A lot of these men, honestly, just need to get some self-respect, man. Why on earth you would ever deal with a woman who treats you this way? I have absolutely no idea. What is a proposal? My proposal, so, and I even write protection for Jasmine. That's the, high, that's the headline. If I was the person that initiates a divorce, you would be giving the highest amount of financial protection. You gotta love how it's written as protection for the woman. Oh, I need all of his money or I need half of his money, plus the kids if we have some. Why? Because it's protection for me. Because when I leave this relationship, oh, things are so difficult for me. You know what? Don't care, get a job like everybody else, like the man had to do to support you in the first place. Okay, but it's all very unfair, guys, because, you know, these modern women who are getting married, who honestly don't care about marriage at all, they just want the status that comes with it. You know, these women, they obviously need protection when they leave your ass. Isn't that, isn't that interesting how it's phrased as protection for this woman? Get out of here. Get a job. Get okay, what is a proposal? My proposal, 
So, and I even write protection for Jasmine. That's the high, that's the headline. If I was the person that initiates a divorce, you would be giving the highest amount of financial protection. Do you understand that? Found out my wife. Yeah. So let me let me get this straight. Unless I'm misinterpreting here, this this guy who is a complete clown. Again, I hope this is a skit has just said to her that if he initiates the divorce on her, then she gets all of his crap, basically. You know what's going to happen? She's going to make your life so insufferable to the point where you have to divorce her, and then she, she's probably going to go, you know, I'm just going to make him divorce me. If he's not going to give me the resources normally, i.e. I divorce him and take all of his crap, then what's going to happen is I'm going to force him to divorce me, and then I'm going to take his money. He, she's going to make his life a living hell to see how far she can push him. And eventually he'll snap and something will go wrong. But she will intend to get the money out one way or another. This woman does not love you. And a lot of these modern women who end up in these situations, they don't actually love the man. They're just there because they want the resources and the status temporarily that comes with a job. Um, comes with a marriage, excuse me. Let's continue. So after a corporate job for a cashier job, she's like, she wants to get out of the payments What she's doing. Payments of what? Child support, ma'am. Is there a reason why you're not paying to support this child? I left my job and I did do it intentionally. Right? Wait a minute, wait a minute. You intentionally left your job? Yes, ma'am, I did. How much yes. did you make at your last job? Annually, 70,000. Now I work at a convenience store. How much are you making now? 30,000 a year. What's the qualification to work at that job? You just need a high school diploma. High school diploma. Yes, and you have a master's degree. I'm not about to play with you. Ma'am, I'm going to make you pay child support. $899.60 is going to be your monthly child support obligation that you're going to pay each month to this man. Let's actually go back here. So I think, I don't know if this is also a skit, um, but I'm just glad that justice has been done this day. You know, you sh I, I think honestly the payments should go up. So look here, she's got... Um, a net monthly income of 4400 so 4500 $4,500. And uh, they're only charging her 899 I really think they should bump that up in the name of equality. You know, make her pay a little bit more because this, this single dad who's out here supporting his kid, um, I think he needs more money from the person he's no longer with. So if we could bump that up, I would probably be a little bit happier. Um, and then we can start talking about equality. Right, there are situations, guys, where men are literally forced to pay out millions of dollars to women straight up and then pay ongoing payments such as child support. Right, so my sympathy is completely gone. Now, again, I don't know if this is a skit, uh, but I hope it's not. And I hope that uh, he can take her for all the money she has because I don't care. And also, this woman left her job, I believe she said. Um, yeah, she she left her job, was making 70K, and now she works at a convenience store for around 30K. Um, yeah, see, absolutely not. I think we should definitely be taking more money from this woman uh, to support this struggling father. It's very interesting to me how a lot of people, they, they get out of relationships, particularly these women, they get out of these relationships and they still feel entitled to the resources that the man provides or had, was providing, excuse me, when they decide to leave that relationship or that marriage and then go out and start banging other dudes. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute, I'm supposed to pay for a girl who's no longer with me to go and see other dudes. Because let's be honest, these child support payments, guys, I guarantee you they're not going towards a child. They're really not. They're probably going towards some other bull crap, some clothes, some nails, stuff like this. It's, it's not all going to the child. Let's continue to the next clip girl okay um and you love her so much would you make her sign a prenup with the abundance of money you do have uh yeah of course you would make her sign a prenup yeah why not because if she was like she's not comfortable with that then it's like but she might get offended by that well if she's offended by that then she's not the one right okay i mean it's like is that is that then she's offended by it is she like is that why she's there then your money what if she also made a lot of money like maybe more than what you make well the laws specifically in california are really not in favor of men so oh, okay yeah so it's like a woman could you could break up they could take like half your sh and she could do it and be like peace okay, okay. so you would make her sign a prenup yeah, of course. your head Let's be honest, guys, here. So this is Bradley Martin. If you guys don't know who Bradley Martin is, he's a fitness influencer. Um, I think he went a bit viral because he said that he would beat an MMA fighter, and a lot of people called him delusional for that. I actually quite like Bradley, even though that was probably quite delusional. This is a guy who, as far as I understand, had a very unlucky life. I think his father passed away. 
um, when he was younger, went on to make a couple of really successful businesses, a clothing brand, a gym, a couple of gyms and things like this. So shout out to this guy. I, I like dudes who get other men into fitness and things like this. So shout out to him. Um, but yeah, so he's, he knows what's going on here, right? The laws are skewed against men. His resources are at risk if he decides to marry a woman. And also, let's be absolutely honest here. Women are not out here typically marrying dudes who earn less money than them. The reason why you have women who are wanting to get married is because number one, for the status, and number two, for the financial provisioning that the man provides, right? They want to be looked after. This is why girls want to get married when they go into their 30s because they're like, well, I'm done with my party years and having my fun with random men, but now it's time to settle down. And what do they need to settle down? Number one, they don't want to work anymore. So they need a man who's got money. And number two, they're going to have a couple of kids, right? If, if they're so inclined. By this time, their biological clock is probably telling them to have them. So, you know, we're out here and now we're looking for a man with resources. Now, why on earth would a successful man such as Bradley Martin go out here and marry one of these women? I have absolutely no idea, let alone without a prenup. And again, these prenups don't do very much, but absolutely not so I, I don't i don't buy this argument that women are even out here in mass marrying men who uh, earn less than them i really don't buy that because a lot of women view marriage as a way out right a way to be provided for because they don't want to work anymore into their 50s so yeah so uh, you would make a sign of prenup. your husband's money is not yours just because you pop some kids out Look, she is getting so much hate off of this video and I totally understand her message so I just kind of wanted to convey it for you guys in a way that you can understand her better. Basically what she's trying to say is I'm a huge dumbass and my husband forced me to sign a prenup so I'm really bitter about my situation so I take it on other women to feel better. Scoop back. Is we'll look, worry about the diamonds later. That signature is more important to me than these diamonds are. You know? I'm not, I don't want to sign up for you. I'm not going to be using you. You're not going to use me, but I just feel like, I don't know. It's just like you, you sign a contract when you go to work, right? You sign contracts. It's just a contract for our well, relationship. You some, you're not going to make me sign it? No, it's not about that. I promise you it's not about that. This is about just having foundation and, you know, a goal in life and... I know what I have, and you know. Okay, but I don't want to sign a prenup because I'm not using you. Okay, give me that ring. No, you can't have that ring. Stop reaching for it. Seriously, I'm but serious about so this. Money. Man, if you truly love me, just sign a paper. Stop like going Who, back and forth. Who's making money. you do this? Your family? Well, I did have a talk with my dad, and you know, just from experience and what he's went through, he told me that it wouldn't be bad for us to do this in our life, in our relationship. So I want to follow behind my so parents. You're saying so here's the thing. I'm assuming that this is a skit, number one. But again, if it isn't a skit, right? Th th these women don't love these men. Let's cut the crap here. They absolutely do not. It's not about love. And she's, she says that she's not using him. She's not using him yet. Okay? Like, she, she might be using him now, obviously. But like, this is something that, She's not signing because she wants the insurance that if she decides to leave at any given point in time, why? Because she feels like it, that she can actually take him for his crap. So absolutely not. And the guy in the video even says that his father warned him about this and told him to get one. So the father actually was probably divorced and probably lost all of his money and the kids too. So, you know, this is, this is a thing that a lot of men are going through and they're saying, hey, listen, you know, make her sign a prenup or don't get married. Personally, guys, I lean towards don't get married. Marriage is a terrible deal for men. Um, you risk a hell of a lot for very little in return. Uh, there are a lot of women who say that there are so many benefits for men who get married. It's all bull crap. They like to screw around with statistics and things like this. Abs marriage is not a good idea for men. You risk an absolute hell of a lot. And if you don't believe me, just talk to a guy who's been married and divorced, right? You talk to that guy. And he'll tell you what he's lost. And, you know, you tell me if you want to go down that path. But I think this is probably a skit here. But even if it's not, she doesn't love him. And notice how she's trying to manipulate him with affection through this, by the way. She doesn't love him at all. She's trying to use her body to get him to decide in favor of what she wants as well. The moment a girl starts doing this, no. Hell no. Life in our relationship. So I want to follow behind my so pants. So you're saying that I can just divorce whenever? 
See, that's you need to read it. The the thing is, you can't divorce me once we are married. Like, it's it's for good. It's for good. And if you divorce, L look at her facial expression there when he says this. Again, this is this is a this is something that's supposed to be till death do us part, and then she practically flinches when he mentions that she can't divorce him. You see what I'm saying? These people they don't view marriage as something that's traditional until death do us part. And you know you're together forever. No, it's a transactional thing that benefits her. If you divorce me, I mean, you owe me fifty thousand dollars. That's what it's gonna and be I about. Don't marry you. Why? Because I'm trying to get some out of it at least. What? So you plan on getting with me and not bringing none to the table? See, this is why I'm doing this right now. I don't want for that to reason. Well, me Sounds like she just solved the problem. No marriage, no problem. Right? My wallet, my choice. Absolutely not. Yeah, it's, it's, it's that or nothing. Like, I guess well, I'll just have to keep this ring for another rainy Wait. day. No. Hold um, on, let me see. I'm, I'm sure someone I else would love something see. like this, you know? Let me see. No, stop reaching for it. That's more important. Just sign it. That's all you got to do, and we're good. We can go to the courthouse and get married tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow. See, why on earth would you still want to get married to her after she's displayed these behaviors? This is something that I don't understand. I, I really do not. She's saying, hey, listen, I, I don't want to get married because you're making me sign this. And she's going to claim, by the way, later on, she's going to claim that she was, you know, forced to sign this and that she, was, she signed it under duress. So that means the contract is voided. Like, have fun in court with this because she's going to say, hey, listen, he made me sign this. I didn't really want him. I didn't really want to sign it. I didn't read it properly. Blah, 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 blah. And before you know it, she still has half your assets anyway, if not all of your crap. What I need, to, I don't, I'm not gonna find this. What? I'd rather find somebody else that can actually provide for me then. Are you serious? So you want to use somebody. That's why you don't want to sign this paper then. Why would I sign it? No, that's, don't not? worry. I'm not gonna beg you to do it. My dad I told know. me. My dad told me to be aware. Stop out. And he also told Take me if you don't sign it, that was a red flag. Yeah. See, if this isn't a skit, thank uh, thank goodness, right, that this man had this fa had his father to tell him that. Okay. Because imagine this goes another way, where the father didn't give any input, or this guy didn't have a father figure around, and he just married this woman, assuming it was not a skit, and he just married her. There goes all of his things. Like, I'm not even joking, guys. This guy's life would probably be, would probably be ruined off of that. Seriously, he's always right. Body count does not matter at all, and I'm going to give you a very specific reason why you should be a slut. In college, I was in a communications class, and via anonymous clicker, they asked us to guess what the average amount of people a college student hooks up with a year is. Then they asked us to say how many people we had hooked up with that year. People assumed the number that people had hooked up with was around seven or eight on average. The actual number of people people hooked up with was two people. A communications professor told us this to show perception is very different than reality. So the moral of the story is to be a slut because everyone assumes you're being one anyway. Being a slut is fun, it's flirty, it's trendy, it's cool, and it's slutty. All positive words. And my number was 10, which means I won because mine was the highest. That just proves sluts rule the world. And if you don't believe me, well, I don't know you, so bye, dead to me. Have fun living your uncool, unslutty life. Also, being a slut is a mindset, so even if you don't want to hook up with people, you can still be a slut. I don't know how to end this video, so bye. Hey, babe. People Dude, whenever I see videos like this, I actually just think it's sad. Like, my thing is this. You're more than welcome. Hey, you know, free world, free choices. Go out there, do what you want. Um, have fun. But here's the thing. When you're 40 and you're sitting there with your boxed wine, surrounded by cats terrible animal by the way if you're sitting there at 40 and you know wet sorry when you're sitting there at 40 alone because it's going to happen with your cats um you know you can enjoy that happiness you can sit there and you can say well i made the right choice because you're so confident in it right whenever i see these videos i just get i, I just see this woman and I see her in her, you know, the, the lounge room, I guess, the, the main area of their little one unit flats that they've now got at 40 years of age because they refuse to work or do anything productive with their life. I can see them there with their bottle of boxed wine and their cats. And I just kind of smile to myself. I'm just like, well, you know, not my problem. And hopefully it's no other man's problem either. Okay, because people who have this set of beliefs, 
they will try and convince you that they're happy and that they're living their best life and all this kind of crap. But you know what happens, guys? When they reach like 40 years of age, they become content for my channel. I can literally make a video off of it. It's fantastic. It's like a never ending cycle of videos. I can go onto TikTok. I can go onto YouTube uh, shorts. I can go onto Instagram reels. Usually it's Instagram reels and TikToks because that's where these um, very intelligent individuals like to hang out. Um, I can go there and there's an endless supply of these videos of these women crying because no, men took, no man took them seriously. And then if you, if you literally go back in their profiles, you can see videos like this of them talking about this. So it'll be like, I don't care, do whatever you want. And then we flash forward a couple of years, right? And then we get the crying video of like, why won't men date me? It's hilarious. It's great content. Keep it up. You're strong and empowered. Let's jump into the next one here. Hey, babe, people in my comments are saying I should sign a prenup with you now. Just to make sure. It's not a prenup. It'd be a postnup. Do you want me to sign one? No. Are you sure? I'm not gonna leave you and take all your money and children. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. I also heard that prenups can get like practically like thrown out of court. Is that true? Yeah. So a lot of people's prenup get thrown out in court because you either had them sign it under duress, which happens the most. Yeah. See what? See this is what I was saying earlier. I didn't even see this clip. This is what happens. The woman will claim that she signed it under duress, that she was pressured to do it, blah, blah, blah. And then your prenup, which protects all of your assets, right, is suddenly null and void. Fantastic work, court system. You know, really just, really fantastic. What does that, what does so, that mean, though? Under, under duress, duress means under pressure. So, like, the wedding's today. Here's the paperwork. We ain't getting married. That's the rest. Like, you can't do it. Yeah, so if a dude comes along and says, hey, listen, we're not getting married unless you sign this prenup, you've now apparently forced her to sign under duress and she can claim that it's null and void. What a great court system, guys. You know, fantastic, absolutely fantastic work here. And then they wonder why men don't want to get married. They wonder why men don't want relationships. They wonder why men are not interested in fighting for countries and serving systems that don't actually care about them. I mean, it just, it's a question that answers itself, right? And guys, like, I, I don't feel sorry for these women, okay? Because it's a fantastic way to tell. You have these women who want marriages, but all they want is the status. They want the rings, but they don't want to be wives. They want to get in the marriage, but they want all of the benefits when they leave the marriage. When they're no longer even with the, you know, with the dude in the relationship, they still want the benefits that the man provides. And society still expects men to commit. It's just not happening, man. It's just absolutely not happening. But how do they how do they prove that in court if they got married like five, eight, ten, twenty years before that? Because you signed the date on it, and you know what the uh, date of the marriage is. Uh, okay. And so those sorts of things get you thrown out. But the biggest reason that um that prenup get thrown out is because you didn't disclose all your assets. Really? Yeah. So I didn't know that. it's so easy to like, especially if um, you're trying to move assets into other entities and that sort yeah, of thing. So like, it. yeah. So Yeah, right. So here's the thing. If you try, if you as a man try and protect your assets by hiding them or not disclosing them, or if you tell a woman to sign the prenup or you don't want to get married, well, then there goes your prenup. Have fun. Right? So. You're not allowed to protect yourself and you're not allowed to ask for the prenup to be signed. You know, so men really don't have a lot of defenses. This crap is so easy to prove, mind you, by the way, because as far as I'm concerned, it just comes down to, comes down to he said, she said, and then the judge will probably go off the balance of probabilities and assume that, oh, well, you know, in all likelihood, he did make her sign it under duress, right? Because the date really tells you nothing. It, it so... These situations are absolutely disgusting, man. They are designed to uh, extract resources from men. Divorce is a business where everybody wins except the man. Guys, we are going to be leaving today's episode there. I think that's enough of a headache for me for today. As always, remember to leave your thoughts and your comments. Make sure you take care of yourselves, and I'll be seeing you all in the next one. Peace.